she's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah. Had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. Well now, look at you. Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did like it. <laughs> What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait, Boris. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Where you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here, we give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? Oh, 
Take a look around if you want. Can't see her face. Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The Spine Chin and Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Now we know what happened at Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swiped the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. what language is she speaking? Dunno. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Try scanning the phone. Yeah, got it. it. Give it a second. No, <laughs> Oui. Oui, Never mention you're a noble. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Or something like Silverhand? We have to know what you're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Oui, 
madame et quoi même j'avais ou qui s'il veut à peine nous tirer sur alt vous gagnez plus bon l'idée très bien si vous décidez si c'est bon côté que ça me pense à continuer faire travail vous allez faire une histoire pas sans pour m'assurer que mon fils Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Long story, trust me. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Now's not the best time. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are? Who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried that I'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around. Make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. See you around, Judy. Right. Um... Thanks, V.
It is not mine! None of this me! Cold, dead metal! All of it! What? What have I done to deserve this? To fall victim to Hinsa! It itches. Should it itch? Why do I feel anything? It, it is nothing but I'm feeling metal. Calm down. <sighs> Forget your own soul. You must save his. Help! Someone please help me! Anyone! What happened? Your implants, they look half done. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu done. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Go and do something like this, and why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how... how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. Fine. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. <laughs> A monk in distress. They should include this in your ethic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you'd drop dead. Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh. Forgot to close my tab. Bar has a buzz about you lately. As the merc who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you more. Your garage. Where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot. Can't miss it. All yeah. right. Try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay. See you, Claire.
then he'll start a next-gen Buddhist college of a... Forget this! Old man or monks! Ha 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 ha! Please! Dharma has promised this! Do not be frightened of him! Open your flap again and I'll rip your tongue out! So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. against my beliefs. Please, I do not want them. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. What? One of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not with the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. You have committed evil in its purest form. I liked your brother more. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Who knew monks were ungrateful little brat? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Ganic ass too. Tired of assholes saying there are good and bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just ripe for the picking? I like where you're going with this.
to a ripper, man. I... Yeah! I'll pay you! Mm, depends. What's wrong with you? You serious? You want my patient history, too? Just want to be sure it's no cyber psychosis or anything. No, it's a... <laughs> Normal implant malfunction. Happy? You helping me or what? All right. Great! Why are we standing here? <laughs> to the car! Now! Satisfaction guaranteed, they said. Let me guess. Mr. Stud, XCV-19 series. Y yeah. How'd you know? Know my implants. Including the black market stuff. Faulty series. Got recall. Still selling it on the street, though. Hey. <laughs> Listen. Thanks for not laughing at me. Appreciate it. It ain't easy, I'll tell you that. Fuck you. Just our luck. Ah! Go, just go, mow him down! Chill, chill. Be gone in a sec. Chill? You tell me to chill? It burns! Fuck, it burns! Chill. I'm doing what I can. What I said to my output. She didn't like that too much. Oh. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! You really gotta keep yelling like that? You don't even know how much it hurts? Like I'm screwing a goddamn pencil sharpener! Well, suffer in silence, Chum. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Real fucking funny. Okay, we're... Hey, you after! I'll call you! But... <sighs> it hurts! It hurts like a motherfucker! I can't! I can't!
Isn't that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. 
I said it was for flash posers. You don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. Son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I just... A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, thought about it a lot. Anyway. They don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City. That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it now. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care.
history has become a den for violent gangs and drug addicts. Kang Tao recently expressed interest in the purchase of Pacifica property with the aim of constructing a new server and logistics center. The city government has openly considered selling the land for a single euro dollar in a symbolic gesture, provided that Kang Tao demonstrates commitment to the Guy with the smoking crotch. That's one way to put it. Anyway, just calling to say I transferred the funds. Uh, well, they managed to save your. Y you know. Yeah, as much as they could. <laughs> at least the pain is gone. Anyway, once it heals, I'll get a better model. Something top shelf. Why the hell would you do that? Um, is that a trick question? Why does anyone get a Mr. Stud? To keep Splash back down to the urinal? Forget I asked. See ya. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. Now you're starting to get it. 
His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. to get his shit together. Oh, cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so we stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about the tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think men does it react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, and he'd get over it. <sighs> I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. just talk. Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day, that little kid's t-shirt, green, with this funny yellow cat. Got the cred for the Hellman job. Fine. Anders Hellman, flick me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. <laughs> Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while, either. Uh, 
Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Must be prepping him for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese Corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on the AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. Dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it, not even with serious firepower just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nab and Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. The nomads give the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the low back means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. 
You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me, too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. <laughs> I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No fee. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. All clear. Let's get out of Thanks. Here. Good luck. Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warhorse wanna kick me now? Forget Rogue for a minute. I wanna help you. Oh, very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. Calling about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you gonna tell me to eat your shorts too? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya.